We're gonna get some dinner in Agra at Mutton 99. Is this an Indian walk? Sula. It's good. You wanna try? Try it. We like trying the local stuff. Yeah. Indian beer. Yes, sir. it's the best beer. beer, Kingfisher beer. Cheers. 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 Oh, sorry, I already drank mine. Come on. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, you two. So we will try this. Yes, I love this. It's like a dip, like that. Like a dip, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Yeah, it's definitely got some heat to it. Yes. What's the flavor of the green? The sauce. It, it's, it tastes like a vegetable the first bite, and then it gets hot. It has the green chili. Okay. It has the coriander. Mm. It has mint, coriander, and mint. It's the mint. Now it's like, I know that taste, I just didn't know what it was. And then I'm like, you got that, that hint of the mint, and then bam, the heat Let's hits you. Let's start with the Hinduism. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's a philosophy. Mm -hmm. It's a way of living. It's yes. a form of life. It's not a religion. Though people do go to temples, put the deities in the holy places, and practice it as a religion. There's a river called Indus River. I-N-D-U-S. Indus. Which Indus rivers, which people call Indus, but we call it Indus. There's a reason behind it. The Indus River is in Afghanistan and India. There's no Pakistan back then, correct? It's a sharing our country. The one who was born there and they started living there was called Indus. Or for us, it was called Indus. So the origin of civilization is Indus Valley civilization. Okay. Around that area, who was born there, who were living there, indigenous, right? The natives, they were called Indus. And from Indus, it changed to Hindus. Mm. This is how the word becomes Hindus. Oh. That's why someone needs to be born Hindu. You can't convert as a Hindu. I could marry a Muslim girl, I could marry a Christian girl, but they will never be my religion. So they can go to temples, they can follow the Hindu uh -huh. custom rituals, all that. They could wear a sari with a bindi on it, the dot one, uh -huh. but, but they still not considered consider consider as a Hindu woman. Huh. Since they're not born Hindu, but my children would be. Because, oh, because you are the father, because I'm a Hindu. Okay. That's how the Hindu world exists. And then it became India's first name is Hindustan, the land of Hindus. Like Afghanistan, land of Afghans. Uh -huh. Hinduism has three more sects, holy branches. Buddhism, Sikhism, people with turban sure. and beard, you know that. Yeah, yeah. And third is Jains, people with second name J A I N. Yeah. So Buddhists and Jains, they are actually from the warrior class of the Hindus. Now Hindus have classes or caste. Right. Okay. Priest class, warrior class, or the fighter class, yeah. traders, the merchant class, and the labor, the servant or the like the cleaning staff and all the untouchables they were also called classes so second higher class is the warrior class which i belong to so my second name is singh singh means lion a fighter a warrior that's why i've got sharp mustaches <laughs> my ears are pierced it's not fashion for me it's my culture i think the mustache with the hat makes it though and i'm he telling you he looks like a lion tamer <laughs> <laughs> I, I still think he's the indiana indy jones indy jones yeah, yeah. <laughs> If we put the moustaches down, uh -huh. it's like you're given up. Oh. You're surrendered in the war. So you need to be always roll up, oil it. And you, you, you roll it, you roll it, like you have to shake them, right? to shake them, shake them. Okay. Like this. Uh -huh. It's been 10 years, so just get to shave anyway. Right. I just need to do this or this. Okay. It's just a habit. The first class of the Hindus is called Brahmin. They are teachers by profession. Not necessary teachers now, but it was started as a profession. They teach you astrology, palmistry, they read the planets and their movements, they do the horoscope for you. Oh, okay. okay. They suggest the child, the letter, to give the name to the parents. Mm. Say, for example, when I was born, December 26, 1985, my parents went to the priest, the Brahmin, the family priest, sure. and they told him, this holy man, that my boy was born on this date, this is the timing. So he calculated everything. 
time of the day, the birth, place of the birth, horoscope. So when we check the, the stars and position when I was born at the, the, my birth time, the V, Hindi letter V, I'm repeating what English V, Victorian, Hindi letter V, V was matching my stars. So he picked the letter V, give it to my parents. You should name any name to the boy, but should start with V. Chicken Malai gravy. Okay. Zero spicy. And this one, uh, plain rice. And the uh, mutton, guna mutton, very special. Boneless, uh, medium to mild spicy. Okay. And this one, garlic naan. Garlic naan. Sir, your egg curry. It's medium spicy. It's and two uh, Comanche roti. So different roti, so I ordered it first, so you can try it. Now your order is complete, so please enjoy food. I am coming here after 10 to 15 minutes because I am taking your comment. How is the food, how is the service? Okay. So please enjoy your food. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so much. Me. Thank you. The thing is, is with rice in India, it's so amazing. I don't understand how rice can be so much better somewhere else. Oh, yeah. Rice is not a San Francisco treat, it's an Indian <laughs> treat. What is the chunks in here? Chicken. 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 Okay. Chicken. It's like a creamy almost. Mm -hmm. It offsets its comfort food. It's mm. like comfort mm -hmm. Indian food. Chicken outside the United States is amazing. <laughs> Chicken in the United States is garbage. <laughs> if you're in Agra, it's called Mutton 99. What's nice about the restaurant mm -hmm. is they'll make it to your own spice level. If you're like us and you can't handle the crazy spice, I love spice. But unfortunately, now that I've gotten old, I can't handle it anymore. We have egg curry as well, which I had never heard of. It's a boiled egg and some curry. Indian curry. Indian curry. Got to put a little bit of little, little spice on there. This chicken stuff is good. Mm -hmm. And this is cumin rice? Cumin rice. Cumin rice. And we're Americans, so we don't eat with our hands because <laughs> well, what it is is because we're more worried about getting sick. Right. Otherwise, normally I do what the locals do, but my research says it's dangerous for us to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to start off with a little bit of egg curry yeah, because it's really intriguing. I'll ask them to bring more egg as well. Oh, okay. And they bring it, they bring it. Here. It's a soft boiled egg. I was expecting a hard boiled egg. The rice is good. Mm. No, it's hard boiled. Mm. Is that a fried egg? It's different. It's not. It's not boiled. Mm -hmm. Kind of fried. Try some of the roti. Yeah, it's a really good. One. It's so good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm right, gonna we'll try the roti with some of the egg curry. Oh, that lamb is, is legit. The, mm -hmm. the depth of the spices. Have you tried the lamb yet? I haven't got there. Mm. I'm gonna try the lamb. So, lamb is a treat for me. It's mm -hmm. hard to get lamb in America. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can get it at the restaurants, yeah. but to get it to cook at home, you don't get a lot of options. You get like lamb, ground lamb, or you get uh, maybe a lamb chop. That's about it. Mmm. Mm. It's good. Mmm. That had to have been simmering for hours. It just melts in your mouth. <laughs> the flavor in it's a, a little unusual as well. It's not like pure curry. It's different than yeah. curry. Maybe because of the spices. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's almost like a smoky. Yeah, smoky. yeah almost yeah. a smoky yeah. flavor to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's as I could, less spicy for you, so you can try that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Indiana Jones. Have you have you ever seen the movie Indiana Jones with uh, with uh, Harrison Ford? Uh, I'm still not being well, but most of the time I was, you know, the bad basic with the war travel stuff. But as much as time went by, I'm getting the bad habits. Surely I will watch this movie again. Okay. Well, so. Our, our guide is India Jones. Men and <laughs> he, remi he reminds me so much of a, of an Indian Harrison Ford. <laughs> yeah.
Good deal. Well, yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. So the gentleman that we were talking to on the phone is named Peeps. That's what we call him. That's what we call him. Peeps Kamal. Peeps Kamal. <laughs> but he's like our Peeps. <clears throat> and uh, he runs Delightful India Holidays, which is how we got introduced to our guide. And all of our, he's helping us out organizing our full India series. So if you want to know more about the India series, check out the card above. And every Thursday, we'll be putting out an India series for quite some time. <laughs> or Indian video for quite some time.